Okay, y'all. Just to let you know, me and Eddie started a new podcast. So if you are bored or you need something to do while you're doing the dishes or you need something to fall asleep to or you need something to listen to on the way to work, check it out. It's called the Double D Podcast and I'll leave a link down to it below. Enjoy. Oh my god, do any of y'all remember The Sims 2? Not on the PC, but on like... DS, PSP, GameCube, PlayStation 2. It was so dystopian. Anyway. Hi! Today, um, we're gonna be trying out some AliExpress makeup that I found. Cause I was just perusing AliExpress as you do. There was this super fucking cute keychain that I saw that was makeup. It's a cute little bear. Aww. But in the box, it comes with a little keychain. And all you have to do is attach this bitch. Oh my god, that is too fucking cute. And this is a concealer. You twist his little head off, <laughs> and there's your concealer. That is so cute, but kind of violent. <laughs> How much did this cost? It was like a dollar fifty-six. Girl, mind you, you get such little fucking product. But I think it's so cute that you can just attach it to uh, your wallet or something and you have your little concealer. But I saw this and it got me thinking, is there any other kinds of uh, keychains or cute little makeup things? And there's a bunch. So we're gonna be trying them today. So the one I just showed you is number one. This is two and then this is three. Apparently this one's supposed to be a salmon beige color, a lighter color, and then a deeper color. But honestly, girl, there's three colors, what it? Moisturize high concealer, be obedient. <laughs> Lasting and not dull. I don't have anything on my face right now, so let's try Miss Salmon Color. It does look a little bit streaky. I like to test concealer on my hand here. If it goes on smooth and doesn't like look weird on the lines on my hand, then it tells me it's gonna be an okay concealer, but this one seems a little bit sheer. I was thinking this would be cute for taking out with you as for like touch-ups. Are you kidding me? I already feel like I ran out. Well, I guess these are one-use items. <laughs> hmm, okay. You're doing a pretty good job of covering my beard. Not bad. I like that it's not a straight up like salmon salmon color. It is kind of a beigey color. Number two apparently is supposed to be nude beige, but number three is skin color. I don't know what the fuck that means. This is number two. And number three, skin color. By the way, this is so hard to hold because the little teddy bear hair is super round, but then the little applicator is like a short stubby little thing. It literally looks like my ex's wiener. I feel like they're very similar in like lightness, but the undertone is just different. This one is a little bit more neutral pink, and this one is a little bit more yellow. These look a little bit more streaky than the other one. Let's use nude beige here just to pre-conceal because I'm gonna put I'm gonna put foundation on but let's use it to pre-conceal uh the redneck okay it does feel like it's sheared out quite a bit but it does kind of feel moisturizing and it covered my pores really well like the finish is super it's like a satiny finish so it's not like matte or anything all right <laughs> put some foundation on I'm just gonna use this uh lanco lanco yeah. Woo, that shit smells like paint. Love it. Y'all, lately, I added a new skincare, thi skincare thing to my routine and it has changed the game for me. So I still be using the same sorts of stuff, toner, you know, obviously moisturizer and shit like that. But after my toner, I'll use jojoba oil, 100% organic jojoba oil. Honey, my skin is able to actually retain moisture now. That jojoba oil, honey, the glow that it gives, but not more than that, just the way that my make, like I know because my makeup goes on so much more smooth now. It doesn't look as cracked and dry. And my skin produces less oils naturally now. So do I have to do my forehead? Yes, I should. I remember years and years and years ago, I did a Yoongi, BTS Yoongi makeup tutorial. And in the video, I completely, fully 100% just in the middle of the video was like, you know what? I don't feel like doing my forehead. And so I didn't do my forehead because I had bangs. You could see my forehead still through, my, they were peeking through my bangs. And it's just like even color and then red on my forehead. It was so weird. <laughs> At that time on YouTube, I was posting a lot. Like a lot. Like at one point, I remember posting five days a week at one point. Girl, I was cutting every corner that I could. Also, do you remember, if you watched me from back then, remember that white kind of like geometric background that I used to have? That shit I got from Amazon. And girl, it's so weird seeing it now that some podcasts on YouTube be using that as like a, as a background. So just, it triggers me every time I see it. And since number three seems to be the lightest, 
let's use that like I don't know here girl I get no product on here do not expect to be doing your full face of makeup every day with these little bitches unless you're willing to buy like a shit ton of them I pop this thing off and look how much is inside y'all this is how much concealer you get <laughs> honestly for a dollar fifty nine, not bad. I thought because of the shape, there would be like a full like well of this, but it's literally just look at that. It's just a straight down tube. I ended up filling it up with two of my Mac concealers. Bitch, I never use this. <laughs> Made sure I didn't overfill it because if you do, then there won't be room for the applicator. And I think yes, yes. You better fucking work. Okay, I think that's the best that we're gonna do. It was, it was all right. I'm gonna use a little bit of my regular concealer under my eyes. Dude, I got so many random little shits. To be honest, it's mostly lip stuff. Cause I'm thinking if anything, if you're gonna be outside, the one thing you would want to touch up is your lip makeup. Oh, pretty much the exact same thing, but just uh, plastic. Oh shit, it's a glossy lips. Okay. So apparently it's currently trendy in Korea. The, that one food, what is it? Like the, I forgot what it's called. I'll put a picture of it right here. So inspired by that, a sort of glossy lip is kind of like trendy right now. Let's try this. Ooh. Mm. Hold. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like it's trying to smell like fruit, but then you get this whiff of like nasty. Ooh, smells like ass. But this lip formula is fucking giving. Look at that. Oi, oi. I feel like this is such a cute color for like, if you're not gonna wear any makeup, sort of just like, you need something for your lips. But the fact that it gives you this, like, I love this type of lip tint that gives, that creates like a form on your lips. So you get the glass sort of effect. But that smell bitch, ooh. This is number two. So this one is number five. Also, this is the stain that you'll get. Oh shit, that is strong. Honey. I just have to point out that these swatches on the product page are completely off. Holy crap. Well, I don't think I need to try any more of that. That is like, holy, I do not like this. This sort of color really does not suit me. When you see my face, all you see is my lips. Holy crap, look at that stain. What this would be good for is just you put it on and wipe it off so you have the stain, but then you can put like a lip balm on top of it. And so if you don't have color in your lips to begin with, this would be a good way to kind of put color in there. I could appreciate the color, but not for me, honey. Not for me. More teddy bears. GG Refreshing Crystal Lip Gel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this one is not a keychain. It's just a cute little, you know, cute little teddy bear jar. <laughs> That's so cute. Look at the little, their little fucking hands. On the head is obviously the applicator, but here, the product is in this little well. Oh damn, okay. Okay. Oh. What? <laughs> I've seen this format in a lot of, they call them lip muds. They're basically like velvet lip creams and shit like that. But this is my first time seeing a glossy version because they're usually matte. What the fuck? Um, hmm, it's okay. It gives you really glossy lips, but it looks a little bit like it's getting stuck in the lines on my lips. So from far away, it looks cute, but then when if you look up close, it kind of gives like the, kind of looks like you have a disease on your lips. That is really not a good applicator though, because that made it harder to put on. Yeah, that was supposed to be more like of a beigey nude color, but I think with the red stain that I had before, it looked a little bit more coral. This one is supposed to be sort of like grape nude color. Oh, that's really fucking cute. Okay. Okay, that's real fucking cute. This is such a cute color for if you're summer cool. The applicator, again, still kind of sucks. I would rather use a separate lip brush to put it on, but if you're in a pinch, this is actually pretty good. And it's really shiny, but it doesn't feel sticky. <gasps> Hold on. There's another keychain, these cute little astronaut keychains I have, but we have some more teddy bears. So let's do the teddy bears first, and then we'll move on to the astronauts. This is adorable. Okay, so all of these ones have exactly the same packaging, so I need to be careful about to mix them up. No, I'm getting hungry. Oh, this is one of the velvet ones. That stain is still fucking there, Jesus. This is number four. Girl, you get no fucking product with this applicator. This is number five. Oh my god, this is such a fucking pretty color. This brown. You never find brown lip colors in K-beauty. And whenever they describe a color as brown, it's not really brown. It's just like a, a muted color. And this is number six. That's pretty. 
four, five, six. Uh, I really want to try number five. It's speaking to me. Holy shit. Do you see the way that smoothed my fucking lips out though? Holy moly. And this is $1.59 as well. Oh my god. That is... Oh my god. That's... Mm-hmm. We're keeping that one. I really wish they made this in like a really nude beige color to use as kind of like a lip base, but let's finally move past the teddy bears. Let's move on to the uh oh, these are so cute, bruh. Same format. This is number one. All the applicators are the same and they all fucking suck. And look how fucking unevenly that applies. Holy shit. But for a again, a dollar fifty nine. This is they're all a dollar fifty nine. Ooh. Do you see that color? Mama. Work. You know we're gonna have to try her out. Oh, she's dark. On my skin tone at least. If your skin is darker, uh this sort of color could be like a nude on your look. It could even end up looking ashy on you, depending on your skin tone, obviously. As it is. Oof. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, my lips are getting wrinkly as fuck. I do want to try this number one, though. This one has a faint chocolate smell. Mm, that's cute. It's a cute, uh, basic color. I wouldn't call that a nude. It's not really a nude. It's just like a natural rosy color. Let's end this lip shit on a moisturizing note. I got this because based off of the photo, I thought it would be like a really cute nude gloss that has like pigment to it. But I did try this off camera a few days ago and uh, not, not it's none of that. <laughs> this brand I've shown on my channel several times, Capuvini, looks like this. Very ice glacier looking. And I was like, oh, it's a cute pinky nude gloss, but no, it's just pretty much clear. It does have a faint suggestion of a pale pink color, but nothing like to write home about. I think if you have pale lips to begin with, this would show up really cute on your lips, like a very faint pink. But on me, it kind of just takes down the redness slightly and it pushes it a little bit more towards the pale pink. Actually, it's... Eh, it's okay. <laughs> But I mean, for $1.54, <laughs> like if you just need something on your lips to moisturize them. The only thing though is this shit smells like ass. It's supposed to be fruit, but then like 0.75 seconds in, it like has this nasty, like rotted smell. Okay, update. I actually bought two of that lip gloss and out of curiosity, I tried opening the other one and using it. And the other one actually didn't have a bad smell. So I don't know what to do with that is. And it's actually kind of growing on me. I still think it's really, oh my God. It's still pretty sheer and actually looking at the page now, it does say good for layering, but it's supposed, it's meant to be really sheer. I do actually like it. It's just, I wish it was a little bit more pigmented and it does feel more like a lip oil. I do wish it lasted longer on the lips, but um, it's supposed to be one of those really thin, non-sticky glosses, so. I saw this on AliExpress, obviously. Doesn't this look familiar? Honey. <laughs> they literally copied this Lily by Red eyeshadow palette. And the only thing I was curious about is if you did want to try this palette out, which is a pretty cute palette, it's not bad at all. But I was wondering if you get the same quality for only $2.49, which is this. Um, you can tell the main difference is that these shadows, you can see that they're kind of raised. This one is just completely flat. Kunde, the colors are pretty much exactly the same. Let's test it out. Let's try uh, this color. Pretty decent pigmentation. And this is the AliExpress one. Ooh, that color is not the same, honey. It's a slightly brighter pink. While the Lily by Red one is definitely more muted. Let's try the deepest brown shade in the palette. Oh shit, <laughs> that's a horrible swatch. So this is the Lily by Red one. And then this is the AliExpress one. Again, very different colors, but the pigmentation isn't horrible. Let me do an eye look off camera. Exact same steps, but using one palette on one eye and the other on the other eye. And we'll see if you can tell at the end. Okay, I'm back. Now, I want you to look at my eyes. Tell me what you think, which side is which, which side is Lily by Red and which side is Miss AliExpress. If you guess this side is Lily by Red, then you're right. 
and this is AliExpress. Now, as I was doing the eyes, the number one thing that I noticed is that in terms of quality, I think this is better. But to be honest, the margin is not that wide. I felt like the original Lily by Red is a little bit more, a little bit more pigmented and a little bit smoother, but like I pretty much got the same look in the end. I think the only main thing where I noticed there was sizable difference was the shimmer. This side definitely has more of a variation of like bigger and smaller glitters. This one seems more like, like just a shimmer. Like there's the big chunks of glitter aren't really there. But other than that, the mats are pretty fucking smooth. If you use an eye primer, oh, if you use an eye primer, you could probably get a lot more out of this. I don't have any eye primer now, but I got I was able to get a really natural pink look. So I was also expecting this to be slightly different looking on the eyes because when I swatched them, they were a little bit different. But the end result is literally the same. This one is just a little bit more muted. I literally call this a little bit red the whole time. This is fucking color gram. I'm sorry, I'm such a dumb fucking cunt. Oh, more Capovini. These liquid glitter eyeshadows. That's so cute, they look like little teardrops. Oh shit! Ah, look at that. It's a little pointy. I thought the applicator was gonna be just like all the, you know, teddy bear ones, but this one is a little... Oh my god. These are cute and convenient, but the little applicators are so short and stubby, so it's hard to do anything with them. Ooh, hold up though. That was, oh shit. I always be trying to do this line, this cute little crease line, but it always comes out so thick and like messy, but because it's so fucking tiny and sharp and like stiff, it just goes on there. Okay, let me see if I can smooth this out a little bit. Oh wow. To be honest, on my eye shape, it doesn't matter that much because my brow bone is so low. Unless I'm like doing this facing the sky, you're not really gonna see that shine. That one was number six. Yeah, number six. It was a kind of like rose gold sort of shade, but this one is number four. Oh, this is different. It's a paddle applicator. Okay, you know what, here, let's try this. Let's do the crease sort of shimmer on this eye. Oh my God, I cannot. Oh my, that was so easy. Honestly, get this one. This one, how much is this one? $1.26. I, I remember I bought so much shit in this one order, but it came out to like $30, which to be honest for all this product is not bad at all. That's some doyen girly shit. That's some hot girl doyen type of shit. So that had like the sharp tip application. So I can, you do it in the crease. Now let's try the paddle one, more so just on the lids. Ooh, oh, holy. Let's just tap. Oh my God. It's like super fine, but at the same time, really glittery. And it lets the eyeshadow I have underneath still show through. Ooh, for $1.26, honey. This would look so pretty on just like, you do a kind of like soft brown eyeshadow eyeliner with pretty doyen lashes and just this, holy shit. So it's actually a little bit more subtle now that it's completely dry, but you know, what? I'm not even mad at it. This is good if you have like an eyeshadow palette that you like, but there's not really any shimmers in it. You can use this to kind of like go with your little eyeshadow palette. That was beautiful. Oh <gasps> no, I have more lip products. Oh my God. This brand called Kaka Show. <laughs> They have these double-ended uh, lip products. They're the same color on both sides, but one side is just matte and the other is glossy. So if you like a certain color, you can go for, you can change up the, the texture for that day. But I've done too many lip products already, so let's just leave it at the eyes. To end this, I've got two mascaras. And look at this applicator. That is tiny as fuck. Let me curl my lashes real quick. Can you see that? Yes. Okay, so I did actually try the brown one off camera once and it was cute and the application was great, but I noticed it was kind of flaking at the end of the day. So let's try the black one. I'm gonna do the mascara on this side because on this one, there's another product I wanna try. Girl, this, is, this thing is so fucking tiny. It really helps get every hair. I'm actually noticing this kind of clumping some of the lashes, but not in a bad way. Actually more so in like the Korean Idol lash way. Can you see that? You probably cannot see that, I'm sorry. Also, the form was really creamy. Um, I wanted to like this mascara, 
but I think the form is just too wet. The effect is super pretty. It just kind of weighs the lashes down because it does give you that kind of like idle lash. Hmm. Should we try the brown one on the bottom? Okay. That's cute for the bottom lashes. I just want to, the mascara to make it look like they're there. And that's what this did, but hmm. That's all right. Okay, so for this side, I thought this product was so interesting. I was like, I gotta have that because it would make my life so much fucking easier. A lash glue for your fake eyelashes, but it's double-sided. You curl your lashes and you apply it like a mascara and then you can take your false eyelashes like these ones immediately and just stick it on and it sticks to the hair. That way you don't have to deal with glue, like, you know, taking some glue out, dipping the dipping the lash to the glue, trying to, you know, finesse it. You're supposed to curl your lashes and then you apply the black side, the glue side from the base of the lash upward, just avoiding your, the tips, I think. Oh my God, this is so hard. Apologies for not being in frame. No waiting, apply false eyelashes immediately. Oh shit, okay. I'm gonna use these Omni Club ones. Did it go on? I think it did. No, I'm sorry, I have to, I have to get bigger lashes. Let's try these ones. Ooh. Oh shit, that just stuck on. I just like, and it grabbed on. I messed it up a little, the placement, so I was able to pull it off. And I felt a little bit of a tug, but it wasn't anything too extreme. In general, even if you like wore this throughout the day, I was worried about how you're gonna take the lashes off because I feel like it would rip your natural lashes out, but it's not too bad. <laughs> Holy shit. Let me put a little lash at the corner. <laughs> I look like those girls that get like the, the fake lashes attached, but it's like, they look like caterpillars. Seal brush head, white brush head, apply evenly to all lashes. I don't know if this will do anything because the lashes that I put right here are so fucking thick. Like I'm not, I'm, I'm not even touching my natural lashes. It's just a wall of lashes. So, all right. So, so actually that went really well. The glue part went fantastic. I don't know about the white part simply because I can't, I have no access to my lashes anymore. So I'm sure if you did use these more like sparse, individual lashes that probably would do something i think it's supposed to be like a supposed to remove the stickiness or something i'm not sure if you are the type to use individual lashes but you just find them applying the glue and like doing it to every single lash annoying this actually might be a good product for you i was gonna say they don't feel sticky but it's because <laughs> these fucking lashes are just so like it's like this but for you girls that wear la individual lashes every day this could save you a lot of time actually i want to see if it's easy or hard to remove these lashes. Uh, oh shit, well that just came right off. You just kind of reach in at the base of the lash and just kind of just, whoosh. I was worried this shit would be painful. <laughs> now my lashes are all mangled, but. $1.59, they're all $1.59. Anyway, I will link everything that I did show you down below. This red teddy bear, this lip mud, the, the glossy one, these eyeshadow shimmer glitters, and the lash adhesive, those are my top picks. The other ones are just okay. I did actually try this Kaka, this Kaka show off camera, and the glossy side was fucking beautiful. I didn't want to show you on camera now because I'm too fucking lazy. Oh, and also the eyeshadow, actually not that bad. I did buy all these from the same shop on AliExpress because you know AliExpress is just a bunch of different sellers. I bought them all from the same shop, so they all came at once. So if you're gonna be getting any of these, I think throwing this in the cart as well is actually not a bad idea because actually the end result is so fucking pretty. Oof. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.